So angle of measures, it's a new lesson 6.2. Uh, I'll start by an introduction. First, if I have a circle, what are the name, the technical name, of the proper name of those lines and segments in the circle? We name OA as a radius. The segment that joins the center of the circle with any point on the circle is called the radius. If now I make it longer, the OA, so from side to another side, and it's passing through any segment that has two points on the circle and passing through the origin is called a diameter. O is the center, as I said. When I have a line that cuts the circle in two points, and it's not passing through the origin, it's called a center, sorry, it's called a secant. Like a man is a segment, it's not passing through the center, so it's just a segment, it's not a diameter. And this line here, it's called a tangent. A tangent, it's a line that is perpendicular to the radius of a circle. Now we need to know what does it mean, what is the formula of the area of a circle, it's pi r squared. And what is the circumference of a circle, it's 2 pi r. Now we will start, I'll give you a remark before I move to the second part. If in a circle, okay, if the length of the arc, if this arc, the length of it, any arc, is equal to the uh, length of the radius, in this case, the central angle will be one radian. So one radian will be the, the, angle, the, the central angle of this sector. Part two, how do we convert from degree to radian? We know that 2 pi is 360 degrees. Pi, it's, it's 3.14 something. It's not an accurate uh, number. And also, it's easier if I want to convert to, and if I don't have any calculator, it's better to use pi as 180 degrees. The symbol of the degree is like a small circle, and the symbol of the radian is like a small C. Now we will start the application. It's very easy. Page 380, exercise 6C. I will not do everything, guys. First one, first number, exercise one, the question is to express in radian. I want to change the degree to the radian. So every time I want to change that, I need to put that, I know that pi is 180 degrees. And now, 45 degree will be under the 45, and what's going to be the value? It's like a proportional table. So this times this should be equal to this times this. Or I can say that if I want to find x, x is equal 45 pi over 180. And then if I simplify, I will get it's pi over 4. So what represents 45 degree in radian pi over 4? Now, I will do part C. I have 270 degrees the same. I know that pi is 180 degrees. 270 degrees is represent how much is a proportional table. It means that if I have x here, it has pi times 270 equal x times 180. And then when I solve for x, I will get that x is equal to 270 pi over 180, and then I can simplify, divide by 10, and again by 9, and I will have 3 pi over 2. I'm doing that if I don't have any calculator. If you have a calculator, you can calculate using your calculator. I will move now to exercise 2. The question is to express in degree. Now, I have pi over 6. How am I going to change it to the degree? Pi is 180, so I replace it by 180. 180 over 6, it gives me 30 degrees. J, 13 pi over 4, the same. Pi is 180. 30 times 180 over 4, so it's 585 degree. Guys, it's very easy. And the exercise on the book, they are very easy, and you have the answer key. So you can do it by yourself, and you have any questions, sure you can ask me. Exercise 3. The question is to express in radian correct to three significant figures. So it's a decimal. It's three uh, numbers after the decimal point. So... I have 10 degrees, and I want to uh, calculate in radian, but not in terms of pi. It means I want it without pi. That's why they said here, correct the three significant figures. So I still know that 180 is pi. 10 is how much? It's 10 pi over 180. And then I replace pi by 3.14. It's not 14 accurate. So the calculator will give me 1415 something. So here, it's not just 31141, but I can do it like this if I want to do it uh, manually or on the calculator and gives me the answer 0 0.174 radian and this is the symbol of the radian the c the same thing for 12.8 again if i write here i know that 180 degrees gives me pi 12.8 degrees gives me how much so it's 12.8 times pi over 180 and i replace pi by 13. 
and 3.14 and then I will get the answer 0.223 region. We move to exercise 4. I need to express in degree correct to three significant figures. Now I have in radian. So the value 1 radian. How much represents 1 radian in degree? Again, here because the radian is given without pi, so I need to replace pi by 3.14. 15. So 180 gives me pi, it means 3.1415. One radian gives me how much? Also, it's a proportional table. One times uh, 180, 180 over 3.1415, and it gives me 57.295 degrees. The, the answer cannot be very accurate because pi is not an accurate answer. It's not an accurate value. Number five, find an exact value for the base angles in an isosceles triangle when the apex angle is one radian. When I say isosceles triangles, it means I know that the two sides are equal. The base angles are equal in isosceles triangle. And I know that the apex, the end, it means the main vertex, the angle is one. I know that the sum of the angles in, in an, any triangle is 180. It means it's pi. They gave me here the value of radian, so I need to work in radian. They need it accurate. It means exact. So I cannot replace pi by 3.1415 because it's not will be exact. So I'll just keep it in terms of pi. So I know that 1 plus x plus x is equal to pi. 2x is equal pi minus 1. It means x is equal pi minus 1 over 2. Part B. Find the exact values of the vertex angle. Now here I need to find the vertex angle. In an isosceles triangle, when the base angles are both one radian, so I have 1 and 1. Again, the sum of the angles in a triangle are 180. V plus 1 plus 1 is equal to pi, and then it will be a v is equal pi minus 2. Now I move to part 3. This is the last explanation part. How, what does it mean sectors and angles? What does it mean a sector? A sector is a part enclosed by two radii and one arc. So if I have a circle, if I have one radius and then other radius, one radius and another radius, and this is a sector, so this one is called, uh, this is an arc, so this one is called a sector. The small sector is called the minor sector, and this one outside, the big one is called the major sector. And even this one, I can call it, it's the ma minor arc, this one, and the other one is the major arc. And this is a segment, you know, that from the preceding uh, PowerPoint. Now, how do you find the lengths of an arc? If I want to find the lengths here, what is the measure of this arc? the formula is r theta and how do you find the area of a sector the area of half r squared theta and you need to be careful there theta all the time should be in radian it cannot be in degree let's move to start some application number one i will i will just do a number one this part here that's it because everything are the same it's the same even the same formula for each circle find the arc length and the area of the sector. The arc length, it means I need to find the length of this part here. So the formula is what? It's R theta. R is how much? It's 12. 12 meter times theta, 3 pi over 4. So it gives me 9 pi uh, centimeter. And you can, if you want, you can replace pi by 3.4, but it will not be accurate. Now, what is the area? It's half R squared theta. It means it's half 12. Uh, squared times 3 pi over 4 and when I calculate it, it gives me 54 pi centimeters squared the area is unit centimeter squared or meter squared or unit square and the, you know the length is centimeter if I ask you the perimeter of the sector it's not the same as the length the perimeter it means all the outside it's the uh, if, I, if I have a garden it's, it's a garden and I want to put a gate so the perimeter is this one plus this one Plus this one. If we ask you, if I ask you about the perimeter of the sector, it's not the same as the length. The perimeter, it's it's outside. It's uh, it's, it's uh, uh, like I'm, I'm I need to put any um, uh, like a fence to this garden. So it's twelve plus twelve plus nine pi. So the answer is twenty four plus nine pi centimeter. So this is the perimeter of my sector here. Now I will not do the other one. They are exactly the same, just replaced by 15. Here it's, they need for this angle, they need this sector, the major. Okay. And then it's the same. Now we move to exercise two. 
The sector formed by a central angle of pi over 12 has an area of 3 pi centimeters squared. Find the radius of a circle. So they gave me the central angle. So what's given? That is given. They gave me the area. A is given. What's missing? R. So I need to use the formula. The area is equal what? Area is equal to half r squared theta. They gave me the area as 3 pi. So instead of, uh, so half r squared theta will give me what? 3 pi. And then I replace half r squared times pi over 12 equal to 3 pi. I need to solve for r squared. So r squared will be 72 pi over pi. R squared is 72, so what is R? Radical 72. Reminder, how do we simplify it? It's 36 times 2, and the radical 36 is 6 radical 2, so the radius is 6 radical 2 centimeters. We move to exercise 3. A sector has a radius of 12 meter and an area of 36 pi meters squared. I need to find the angle in the in the sector between the two radii and I want to find look here guys the perimeter of the sector again the area is given it means 36 pi is half r squared theta so r is given and the area is given I need to find theta here I need to find theta so I solve for theta I replace r bar 12 and I will get theta as pi over 2 radian now how can I find the perimeter of the sector as I said, the perimeter, it means I want to find the radius plus the arc plus the radius. So it's 12 plus L plus 12. So it's 24 plus R theta. And already I have theta as pi over 2 and R is 12. So it's 12 pi over 2. So it's going to be 24 plus 6 pi meter. I still have number 4, 6, 7. I don't think I can. I still have just uh, two minutes. Let me do it. Number four now. Number four. I need to find the shaded area when theta is 1.5 radian. The shaded area, it means I want to find this part. So to be able to find this part, I need to do the area of the sector, all of it. And what going to remove from it? The area of the trunk. Easy. The area of a sector, we know the formula. It's half r squared theta, excellent. It's half times 10 squared, it's 100. Theta is 1.5. And I have 75 centimeter or meter or unit squared. I don't, they didn't give me the unit. Now I need to find the area of this triangle. We know that the area of a triangle, it's base times height over 2. So this is the base times the height over 2. The base, I have a 10, but the height, I don't have it. How are we going to find the height? We're going to work in this right triangle, and we know that sine theta, and we have the angle, it's opposite over hypotenuse. So sine theta is equal h over 10. So it's going to be h 10 times sine theta. And now we're going to replace h by 10 sine 1.5. The base is 10, and then we will replace. So the area will be 10 times 10 times sine 1.5 over 2, and then I got the area. And now we're going to find the area of the shaded part. It's 75 minus 49.9, and then the area is 25.1 unit squared. We move to exercise 6. Verify that the radius of a sector with a perimeter P is given by R, P over 2. This is a sector. It's the perimeter P. What does it mean perimeter? It's R plus R plus L. And then it means that P is 2R plus, and L is R theta. Now I have a common factor here is R. So P is equal R factor of 2 plus theta. So it's going to be R P over 2 plus theta. Number 7 is very easy. Also, if I have a quarter circle, it means the angle is pi over 2. Okay. With diameter 20 centimeters, it means my radius is 10. And I want to reach it in a semicircle. Given that the area is the same, so the area of the sector is going to be the same of the area of the semicircle. It means the area of this quarter sector is pi, uh, half r squared theta. I replace, it's 25 pi. And the area of this one is the same, but the, the radius change. It means half r squared theta is 25 pi. I solve, I got r, 5 radical 2. Once I have r, what is the difference between the radius the change of the radius is 10 minus 5 radical 2 and if i want to find now 
the perimeter of my new semicircle, 